Chapter 16, Theory 1, Hydronium versus Hydroxide. Remember that depending on the amount of hydronium or hydroxide is found in a solution will determine if it is acidic, neutral, or basic. So an acid produces hydronium when placed in solution and therefore hydronium ions would be greater than the amount of hydroxide ions. For example, if you had hydrobromic acid and you placed it in water, the hydrogen and the bromide would separate or ionize in the solution. The hydrogen ion and the water would get together and you would get hydronium and bromide. It is the production of this hydronium ion whenever HBr ionizes in water that makes this considered an acid. So any substance placed in water or any substance that produces hydronium ions is going to be considered an acid. Okay? A neutral solution would be water because water contains an equal amount of hydronium and hydroxide. Water goes through a process known as, the, known as self ionization where the hydrogen from this water would transfer over to the other water and you would end up with hydronium and hydroxide. So it's because you end up with both of those in a water solution that makes it equal and makes it neutral. Finally, a base is going to contain more hydroxide than hydronium. Any base that you place in water and dissociates to give you hydroxide ions is going to be considered basic. So for example, lithium hydroxide placed in water is going to give you, is going to dissociate and more accurately, I'll draw it this way, placed in water, is going to dissociate to give you the lithium ion and the hydroxide ion in solution. And those will both be aqueous. It's the production of the hydroxide ion that allows you to denote lithium hydroxide as a base. Okay, so anything, any substance that produces hydroxide in solution is considered a base.